Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a follow-up to the haul that I posted a couple weeks ago. So I've been trying these products out over the past few weeks or so um, and really, really formulating my opinion. I think doing a follow-up to your haul is extremely important to get the information out as to whether or not these products are worth your hard-earned cash. So I think I only had a couple misses. Um, so without further ado, let's dive right in. Um, I am not going to have this in any particular order. I'll try to keep it grouped within a category. Um, that way, if you want to purchase something or try something out, you can sort of fast forward to the category if you forget what the name of the item is. But without further ado, let's get on into it. So foundations. Um, I tried out two cushion foundations. These are new to me. Um, this is a new launch from Wet n Wild and this one here is basically, I mean it's basically been out for quite a while. I don't know how long exactly but for a long time. They're just, it's new to me cushion foundations because I used to have super oily skin so I was always afraid to try out cushion foundations because I've heard how luminous they can be. Now, I will say that these do definitely have a luminous finish. And if I had to choose between the two, I would hands down choose the Wet n Wild one. In my opinion, you guys, these are very similar, in my opinion. Um, but there's just something about this one. I, I love the finish. I think it's absolutely beautiful on the skin. It's a light to medium foundation. Um, it's not gonna give you, you know, extreme coverage, but I kind of like that. Um, I don't think it is the most long wearing foundation on the planet. I would prefer to wear this on say a single shift rather than, you know, when I work both jobs, but I think these are absolutely beautiful. Um, this one I just prefer mostly because of cost, really. I mean, this is $9.99 or $8.99 as compared to $16. $17 um, and they're essentially the same thing you guys so don't waste your money get the wet and wild if you're interested check this one out because um, it is beautiful I think it's definitely worth the 10 bucks but I mean $16 for a drugstore foundation that's that's steep you know that's steep and if there's an option out there that's not gonna cost you that kind of cash take the other option in this case. Um, all right, so the Burt's Bees Goodness Glows Foundation. This is nice. Um, I have to mix it though. It's far too dewy to wear on my own, even with my combo skin. Um, I don't feel like this is the most long wearing foundation on the planet and it does have an extremely off putting scent when you first apply it. However, the scent does go away. It doesn't linger all day. It is beautiful. The finish really is beautiful. It's a very wet, dewy uh finish however i feel like you almost need to have dry skin to really use this on its own i do love to mix this so i will go in with a super matte foundation mix this in and it is absolutely beautiful um i i don't think i would repurchase this one you guys it's a pricey one i think it was like 16 dollars, and i I like it, it's not bad, but it's for that price point, I wouldn't repurchase. Um, the other luminous foundation that I have is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. This has been out for quite a while and I'm just now trying it out. I love this. This is the perfect amount of dewy and matte. It's just like a right in between for me. I can wear this on its own. It's not too luminous. It wears beautifully throughout the day. Um, yeah, I would repurchase this for sure. Definitely would repurchase that one. I think it's worth the money for sure. The Maybelline Superstay. This is their new foundation. It's a revamped formula from their old Superstay. This is nice, you guys. I think it comes in at around $10. However, I felt like this was gonna keep me matte longer. And mind you, I do have combo skin, so I am not, you know, super duper oily anymore. Um, and this did look dewy on me. It looked, you know, midway through the day, I had to use not one, but two blotting papers to sort of soak up the oil production. So to be honest, this is not as mattifying as it, it claims to be. Um, it didn't, it didn't uh, separate anywhere, but I don't know. I just felt like this was going to keep me madder, if you will. So I guess it depends on what you're looking for. This is not one I would repurchase. 
Now, the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation, this is definitely one I would repurchase. I think this is such a stunning foundation, you guys. This is so beautiful, so so worth the $15 price point. You can also get this at Ulta now. That's the little applicator. I love that about it. Makes it so easy to just distribute all over the face um, and then blend out. Now, this is a light foundation um, in terms of coverage. You are definitely gonna have to, if you wanna build up, you're gonna have to use quite a bit. Um, unfortunately, you know, you're, you're going to have to dip in and out of here several times to get that kind of coverage, but I don't, I don't mind that. The actual finish of this is so beautiful that I don't care. And I would definitely, definitely repurchase this. I've worn it several times. It wore all day on a double, um, even on its own, it wore all day. So I found that to be pretty surprising. And to be quite honest, you guys, this is one of the best ones I've tried from the drugstore in a while. So really happy to have that. I do have the It Cosmetic CC Cream. I absolutely love this. Um, I love this for days that I just don't really feel like it. This gives me enough coverage to feel confident. I actually have this on my face today. I think it looks really nice. I think the coverage, you know, when you apply concealer and or add a concealer to me, it's enough for what I'm looking to cover. I just really sometimes want something to even things out and this definitely does that. Um, I don't think that this is the most long wearing product on the planet, but I love that it has an SPF of 50. I think this is gonna be so great for summertime. I love the illuminating version of this as well. I prefer the two of them combined. I think the two of them combined is like the perfect combination. So if you've been thinking about it, I would say go ahead and pick it up. I definitely think this one's worth it. Um, so for primers, I have two. One's a hit, one's not so much. So this one here from Becca, the Becca Blurring Primer. This, you guys, I'll be honest, I thought it was going to be something completely different than what it ended up being. I did get this in gratis and I'm thankful that I got it in gratis because um, I was actually going to buy this and it's around $38, it's rather pricey. Um, this is one that you have to really shake. There's like a marble in there. Um, I don't know if you can hear that, but it is very, very liquidy, you guys. Extremely, extremely runny. It squirts out, you see that? I mean, there's no control over the pump. It's just, it's a mess. And then, you know, when you get it out, it it it's so runny. It's just not what I expected it to be. Now, when you do rub this out and you get it sort of distributed, uh, it is very soft. It makes your skin feel super velvety soft, but I just, I don't like the application method. I don't like what it does to my black clothes because um, that has happened every single time. That's why I, I kind of, because I knew it was going to happen. I don't think it's worth the $38. I would definitely not repurchase. I will use the product up because I don't want to be wasteful, but I do not recommend it. Um, and then the other one is from Smashbox. Now, this is nice. This is really nice. If you have dry skin and you're looking to you know, get some sort of luminosity going underneath the foundation you're wearing. Or if you are going in with an ultra matte foundation and you, you want it to be a little bit more, you know, radiant, this is beautiful. Um, now, it doesn't add any hydration though. This is not something that you are going to get any sort of hydration out of. It is not going to add anything to your skin, at least not in my experience, but it does give a beautiful radiant finish before going in with foundation. So, while I like it, I don't think I would repurchase this for $42. I did receive this in gratis. Um, it's just okay. I've not been crazy about any of the Smashbox primers. I do like the pore filling one and I love their primer oil. Now, if there's any one of them that I would spend $42 on over and over and over again, it would be the primer oil. Um, because it actually adds moisture to your skin. So it's all right, you guys. It's just all right. Um, for lip products, I have these two here from e.l.f. So the first one is their matte liquid lipstick. They just recently launched these and I, wouldn't, I went ahead and swatched them on my skin earlier because I've already filmed this video once, but uh, I had to scratch it. So, um, so these are the shades of the three liquid Anastasia ones. I know I'm kind of jumbling. I'm jumping. I'm jumbling. Um, so these are the three Anastasia ones. This is the elf one. So these are the three Anastasias. This is the elf. Now, 
The Anastasia formula is drying. It is absolutely drying. And in my opinion, the shades appear darker on than they do in the tube. That doesn't really bother me. I just wanted to make a note of it. This is a drying formula. If you do not like a drying liquid lipstick, you will not like these, but I do. I was pleasantly surprised. I've heard a lot of negative things about the Anastasia formula, that they're just drying and, you know, mainly that they're drying. They are drying, but for some reason that doesn't bother me. Um, I think they wear down nice and gracefully, which I appreciate, and I've been enjoying working with them. I really enjoy the shades um, more than anything. I, I've had fun with that and creating looks around those shades specifically. Um, but yeah, I think that the Anastasia formula is worth it. I think it just depends on what your preference is. Now, the e.l.f. ones. This e.l.f. liquid lip, you guys, if you follow me on Snapchat, it has been the liquid lip that I have worn pretty much every day. I love this. I am excited to get every single shade that they come out with. This is a win for me. Not only is the formula a win for me, which is drying. The formula is drying. It's the liquid lip that I have on right now, but the applicator I love. It just makes it so easy to get a nice, precise line. Um, I can get one coat. It's a one and done type situation. I do prefer to go in with a lip liner before any of my liquid lips, you guys, but for $5, I cannot wait to pick up the rest of them. I literally cannot wait. In fact, tomorrow, I plan on doing that. Now, the gloss. This gloss is nice, but I don't feel like it's better than any other gloss, if you will. The shade is beautiful, but you have this. You already have this in your collection. There's really nothing super special about it. It does. N it's supposed to be a lip plumping gloss. Um, I don't find this to be tingly on my lips. It doesn't compare to my Buxom glosses. It's sticky, uh, not overtly sticky, but it is. A, you know, it's a gloss. It's gonna have some stick to it. What I've been using this for mainly is if I just don't feel like doing a liquid lipstick, I'll go in with some liner, like a Your Lips But Better sort of liner, and then I top it with this. Now, this will make any lip product you put on, it will amplify it, say, by 10. This does make your lips look juicy and full, but it doesn't have, like, plumping properties. It's really an illusion. Um, if you strategically place this on, on your lips in a certain place, it will make your lips look fuller. It's $5. Um, I've tried definitely worse glosses, but you know, I, it's not something I would repurchase. I'll just say that. So for brow products, I have two brow products. One of them I forgot to mention in that original haul video, but this is the Total Temptation Little Brow Definer. I love this. I've been using this just about every single day, you guys. I love the little spoolie on it. I didn't think that I would, but I actually like love this. Um, and then as far as the formula goes, listen, there's no need to go out and purchase, you know, a brow product for over $10 anymore, you guys. They just have such amazing brow products at the drugstore for half the cost of a high-end brow product. And as much as you go through a brow product, it's really a waste of money, in my opinion, to spend that kind of cash on a brow product. This is creamy. This goes on easy. You can see it has sort of that triangular shape to it, which makes it real simple to just fill them in. I love the shade. I like the formula. There is nothing bad about this, and I would repurchase. Um, and then my super duper like surprise of the whole haul. This guy snuck in there and caught me by surprise. I didn't think this was gonna be like as special as it is. Um, this is the Physician's Formula Brow Last. This is an exact dupe, you guys, for the Wonder Brow. If you have ever used the Wonder Brow, this is the exact dupe and it's half the cost. So I will never purchase Wonder Brow again because I get everything that I need from Wonder Brow in this guy right here. It's got the same applicator as the Wonder Brow, which I don't love, but I've sort of learned how to work with it. Um, but this keeps your brows on all day long. I have to go in with an oil-based remover to get my brows off at night. So to be honest with you, this is great now. I can't wait to use this in summer because I won't even have to worry about like touching up or anything like that. As much as you sweat down here in the summer, this, I have no, 
I have no, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I just, I know this is going to last on my brows all day in summer. Like I just know it. It is intense. It is amazing. And I will definitely repurchase this. Um, all right. So blush and a highlight. I got the Ofra Rodeo Drive highlight. This is everything you guys. This is everything they hype it up to be. I'm so happy to have this. The only downfall is these are a little bit powdery. Um, it is going to have kickback. You are definitely going to have to tap off your brush when you use an Ofra highlight, at least this one. But what a beautiful color. What a stunning shade. I have enjoyed working with this. I have pretty much rubbed off the ridges in the center of this pan already. I just... I am so happy. I, there's nothing bad about that. Definitely worth the money. They're spendy, but they're worth it. Um, the Anastasia Blush Trio in Pink Passion. I got this in gratis. So happy I have this. What a beautiful formula. I just think this is absolutely incredible. I love the packaging. I love the mirror that it comes with. And I love mixing these shades. I'll take this one and mix it with this one and this one and mix it with this one. I've just had so much fun doing that and creating different blushes out of a single blush trio. The possibilities are endless with this. The formula is beautiful. It's not too pigmented uh, where it's going to, you know, look blotchy on your face. I mean, I have used quite a bit of this. I don't know if you can tell, but I mean, the pans have definitely seen some brush bristles. It's worth it, you guys. It's worth it. All right, the e.l.f. Cream Contour Kit. This was recommended by a YouTuber named Nicole Renee Cutler that I like to follow here on YouTube. She's amazing. She uses this quite a bit. Now, I, I like the formula of this. It is a very nice formula. I love that these pans just pop out so you can sort of mix and match from other e.l.f. palettes if you want. Um, these are a little too warm tone for me, you guys. Unfortunately, I'm a little too fair. I find that these look too bronzer-ish rather than a contour on me. I really wish that they had a nice cool tone shade in there. Um, that would be wonderful, but they don't, and I don't believe that they have like a fair to light cream contour kit. I think this is just their standard one, so it's kind of like you get what you get. Um, I've tried mixing them around. Um, I don't know, you guys. It makes me sad because I do, I do like it. Um, they're just so warm toned. I mean, this one could be cool toned. It's the most cool toned of all of them, but it still pulls warm tone on my skin. So I'll check this out in summertime and try it again. I'll keep you guys. I'll keep you guys posted as I, you know, get a little bit bronzer for the summertime. Maybe this will work better for me. But right now, it's it is a little bit too warm for me personally. Now the three powders I picked up is this one here from Laura Geller. You guys, this is stunning. If you're looking for a radiant sort of setting powder, this is it. It's a lightweight, feathery, light, like so light. You don't even feel it on your skin. And a lot of times illuminating powdered foundations are, are heavy. They just feel heavy. They look heavy. This does not look like I even have it on my skin aside from the beautiful luminosity that it leaves behind. This is new to her collection. I do have her original Baked Balance and Brighten foundation, but this um, Baked Balance and Glow is everything. I will definitely repurchase this once it's gone, and I am so glad that I picked it up. Um, the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Here's how I'm going to rank this. So from the drugstore, there is the uh, Maybelline the Maybelline powder, uh, the Maybelline Fit Me loose powder. That's my number one from the drugstore. I would say that this is my number two. Um, this is good. I, I think it does a great job. I definitely prefer this over, you know, like the NYC translucent powder or the NYX translucent powder. Um, even the Maybelline translucent powder, I've tried that as well. Um, so yeah, you guys, this was definitely worth the $4 that I paid for it. I mean, I don't know if it's something I would repurchase just because I have a lot of other loose powders, but if you don't and you're looking for a good mattifying powder, I would check this one out. I was so excited to see it in a loose version because I used to love their pressed version of this. I also like that it's not a stark white powder. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it does have sort of a slight 
pink cast to it. So it's not going to look super duper, you know, pasty white on the skin. I find that some translucent powders do leave a for sure white cast. This this doesn't do that. So I've really I've really enjoyed playing with it. I just don't know if it's something I would repurchase. Um, now this guy, this is Holy Grail status. This is right up there with my Derma Blend powder. I literally cannot live without this powder now. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. Not only does this sort of mask my pores and make things look smoother, but this actually helps keep me matte throughout the day. I have created a little dent in this already, which is crazy because I haven't had it that long, but you guys, this is worth every single penny and I am obsessed. I'm literally obsessed with this powder. I cannot do my makeup, leave the house without it. Brushes, I picked up quite a few brushes over the, or during this haul. Um, these are the two Morphe brushes. Morphe brushes, they're eye brushes, you guys. I definitely think are worth it. What I love these for is for diffusing out shadow. I don't use them to pack shadow on. I use this to blend. I have washed these several times. They do not keep their, you know, super tight, compact shape but I think that makes them better for blending. The more you wash them, the fluffier they get, the softer they get, and in my opinion, these are incredible for blending out shadow. Definitely worth the money. I have two Sonia Kashuk brushes in which I am absolutely obsessed with. I've been using them all month. This is the powder brush I've been using with that Laura Geller powder, and this is a pencil brush. I have washed all of these brushes that I am about to mention, and none of them shed on me, um, and I love this for precision, and I love the way that this blends out. That powder, it's so soft. It doesn't pack on too much at one time. It's got a, just the right amount of fluff to it. I love her brushes. It's a shame that she's not going to be selling them anymore um, because she really did have great brushes. And then the last one here is from It Cosmetics. So this is the, what is this called? The Airbrush Blurring Foundation Brush. Here's the deal, you guys. This is a great brush. It is a great brush and I'm happy to have it. However, I have other brushes in my collection that are just as good as this and they caught they came from the drugstore they cost half the money that this would cost so while i'm happy to have it you can find this at the drugstore without spending that kind of cash now i did get this with the it cosmetic cc cream for free so that is why i have it i've always wanted to try one of their brushes i am thankful to have it but um i wouldn't personally purchase one of these on my own i just think i have equal, um, I have just as good from the drugstore. Now, this lash glue from Kiss. This has quickly become my holy grail lash glue. I used to only use Duo Clear Lash Glue. This is the Kish, Kish, the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. This was recommended by Juicy Jazz, a fellow YouTuber here. Love her channel. This is amazing, you guys. I love the little brush tip. Makes it so much easier to apply this to the band of the lashes. This dries down in a third of the time that the Duo Glue dries down, and it just, these puppies stay on all day. I do not worry about it. I don't carry it with me in case I have a slip up because I have yet to have a lash pop up wearing this glue. So really, really good, really affordable. The only thing is it does get stuck, like, in my lash line and I find it harder to pick off the old glue from my lashes than the duo but that just means it's stronger it's holding my lashes in place so I'm not mad at it um all right I think we're getting down to just the last few products so the wet and wild eyeshadow palettes here's the deal you guys I said it pretty much in the haul. The mattes are 10 times better than the shimmers. I would purchase these solely for the mattes. Um, they're $4.99 a piece, and I think they're definitely worth it. If I had to rank them, I don't have Nude Awakening because those shades, I have it in the old formula, and the shades don't speak to me enough to purchase a second one. So if I had to rank these three, it would go Comfort Zone, number one. Uh, rose in the air number two and then I'm not a basic peach number three now to be quite honest with you guys um 
I purchased this because of the color blue and I the blue in there and I thought that these shades the shimmers are they're not good they're really not they're very underwhelming um for $4.99 I mean I'm not mad at it but they're not anything special now the mattes are everything so when I say purchase these for the mattes they are worth the $4.99 for the matte shades you get in each palette. So this one here has one, two, three, four, five, six, no, five matte shades in the I'm Not a Basic Peach, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shades in the Rose in the Air, and one, two, two shades in the Comfort Zone. Now, this blue in the Comfort Zone, the blue-brown pigment, is absolutely stunning. Of all of the shimmers, that's the one. That is the winner. Um, I've used every single shade in every palette, and the mattes are beautiful, absolutely stunning, definitely worth the $4.99. The shimmers, not so much. Now, the single in Creme Brulee, this is an absolute must-have for me going forward because this is such a beautiful white shadow. I know that sounds crazy, but you guys, it's so soft and it just blends beautifully. And what I love this for is just setting down my eyeshadow primer. I think it's definitely worth the 99 cents. I will have this. It's like the Bye Bye Pores Press Powder and my Derma Blend. Like they're holy grails, they're never leaving my collection. And then the last couple things are just a couple palettes. So the first one is this Morphe palette. Um, this is the 3502. Here's the deal with this, you guys. If you have the 350, you don't need this. Um, if you have any palette that has this shade range, you don't need this. Um, the shimmers are definitely better than the mattes. That is the vibe I get from all of my 35 pan Morphe palettes. Um... It's nice, I'm not mad about having it. The red is beautiful. Like the, the tones in here are right up my alley. I have it on today, as a matter of fact. Um, but you know, I don't think this is a must have. I think it is a great affordable option if you want a warm tone palette. If you already have a warm tone palette, you do not need this. So that is kind of where I stand on that. The last one is this Urban Decay Kristen Leanne palette. Now this is definitely an absolute amazing product absolutely amazing product is what I meant to say this is everything I have enjoyed working with this I love these colors they are so beautiful they're so fun you can see these two center shades like I have made dents in these I have worked with every single shade I have enjoyed creating fun colorful looks out of this these colors are so ultra pigmented you guys they pack the most high impact colorful ugh, pigment. I, I, I know that sounds like all jumbled, but I'm just, I'm speechless. When I use this, it is breathtaking. Every shade packs a punch. Every single shade is going to give you exactly what you're looking for. When, what it looks like in the pan is how it's gonna look when you apply it to your eyes. You do not even need to wet these. I do because I'm extra, but you don't have to. They're beautiful. The only shade that I'm not ultra crazy about is Corona. It's a little bit crumbly. It's beautiful. It's just a little crumbly. And then the 13th floor, the black shade in here, you guys, that's one of the best blacks that I've ever used in my life. Um, worth the 39 bucks. It's limited edition. Pick it up while you can. This is definitely one that I would say grab it. Grab it before it's gone. Don't let it be a makeup regret. All right, you guys, I'm pretty sure I'm just kind of scanning over everything here to make sure I got everything, which I did. Oh, the hairspray. Um, I've used it. It's almost gone. Um, it's a hairspray, you guys. I don't think it's worth the money for the full size of this. It's just, it's a hairspray. That's, I mean, I love the size. I love how convenient this is to carry with me. I'll definitely pick up another hairspray in this size. Um, but I'm curious to try out other hairsprays like this just isn't, you know, it didn't, it didn't blow me out of the water, if you will. It's a hairspray. All right, you guys. So that is it. I hope this was helpful. I know this is 30 minutes long. I've, I tried to breeze through it as quickly as possible. Um, 
I just had a lot to talk about. So anyway, hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions about any of this product, any of these products, please just ask down below. Be more than happy to answer them for you. If you're not already subscribed and you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to see you here next time. Click the notification bell and that will notify you every time I upload going forward. Um, and yeah, before you purchase any of this stuff, you guys, these opinions are just my opinions. Please review your products over and over again. Before you purchase anything, watch my review, watch 10 other reviews, because what works for me may not work for you, may work for the next guy, may not work for the next guy. If you know what I'm saying, everybody's different, everybody's preferences are different. Keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I hope, I do hope that you were able to formulate some sort of opinion. And um, anyway, it was a great time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.